change makers. I'm Gabriela Dragomir, founder and CEO of Brainstorm Strategy. And today at Diaspora and Business, we have a special uh, guest, uh, Anna. Anna Uzvenchenko, she's from uh, uh, Georgia, and she's our, our speci special guest. Welcome, uh, Anna. Uh, hello, Gabriela. Very happy to be here, and thank you for inviting me to be your guest today. Um, so I'm ready to start. Yeah. Uh, Anna, Anna, she's a professional PR with uh, 14 years experience and over 300 successful uh, PR projects uh, and portfolio uh, with clients from Ukraine, Georgia, Africa, Armenia, Kazakhstan, Belarus. Anna, you work uh, with international and um, national companies from different in industries, IT, telecom, pharmacy, aviation. Um, tell us more about yourself and about your story, or your professional story. Thank you very much for the first question. Uh, so, uh, I, uh, as you mentioned, I'm PR specialist. I'm Ukrainian uh, originally, and I moved uh, to Georgia nine years ago. I work and I live here. Um, generally, I like active and dynamic way of life, and maybe that's why I chose uh, communication and public relations as my field. I did this choice when I was in university, and until now, I'm happy to say that I never regretted my choice. I really love what I'm doing. Uh, I'm very passionate about communication, about working with uh, different clients in different fields. Uh, and uh, during the last 10 years, I've been working in uh, different countries in the region. And this is also very interesting and inspiring for me because cultural diversity is uh, my huge another interest in my life and in my profession. If you have the possibility to describe yourself by three words, only three words, uh, that will be? Uh, well, I am positive, I am very open and uh, curious person. This would be my three, I guess. <laughs> open, curious and? Uh, open, curious and positive. Positive. We see, we feel this vibe. <laughs> we feel definitely. <laughs> Why you choose PR and no other other uh, zone of professional life? Uh, you know, I think uh, public relations, it's all about the dialogue. And I enjoy the dialogue. I enjoy listening to people, to groups of people, to individuals. And uh, I enjoy different opinions, to hear different opinions. So this is, to me, the background of communication as a profession. Uh, I also like uh, creating stories, and this is another part of uh, the communication industry. So I'm really like inspired when I hear great stories about people, about the brands, about the companies, and even more uh, inspired I am when I have to create these kind of stories. So I think this is what made my choice. <laughs> Anna, uh, it's uh, uh, very. Uh, we we know everyone. If we choose entrepreneurial life or professional life, we need to have some kind of uh, key driving force uh, behind us. Tell me about yours. What was your key driving force to uh, to become a professional MPR? Um, okay, you know, I, I think as I mentioned, I chose my profession in university and just I loved what I was studying. And then I had a choice, uh, I, I had some opportunities. I worked in international company first and I had internship in the ministry, so I know a little bit public sector. And then I started working in a small PR firm. And uh, there actually I felt uh, this, um, uh, like the scene of our entrepreneurship its advantages uh, so I actually when you can compare uh, the different sectors and the different uh, types of organizations uh, you can already make a choice and I was lucky to have this opportunity and I think entrepreneurship and small business it gives uh, uh, a lot of freedom uh, to me at least it looks like this uh, it gives flexibility and endless opportunities and I think these are the decisive factors for me <laughs> 
that is uh, that is very important flexibility and uh, availability to work with uh, so many cultures and uh, like uh, i say from the beginner um, you have an portfolio of uh, lots of countries uh, your clients uh, they are around of the world um, what made you stand out of the crowd because outside we meet lots of professional um lots of professional uh, people in communication and pr and media uh, but uh, what is in your side uh that's uh, like interesting and not easy question uh, but i will try to answer so i think the first thing which uh, like made our company to be uh, different is uh, our team at the moment, we are international team. Uh, like I work with the people. I, I'm physically in Georgia, but I work with the team in Ukraine, in Azerbaijan, in Armenia, in Moldova, in Belarus. So uh, and everywhere we have uh, like talented people who are very patient about what they are doing. Uh, and I think when you find this mixture of talents of professional, uh, it just gives you enormous opportunities, and you can really do everything so uh, or nothing is impossible for you so i think our great team of great people with their similar values not only like professional but also individual values make us really different and these people helped to do to go for internationalization of the business uh, these people help to implement projects in a way that maybe others wouldn't do it uh, so I believe it's all about people. And then, of course, when you have this team, uh, you're great with more and more uh, great clients, projects and organizations. And now our portfolio is also, it looks, at least to me, quite impressive. Uh, and um, I think this is also something which makes us outstanding at the moment. <laughs> I can be more than agree with you. Everything, uh, everything in our life, like entrepreneur, like professional, it's about people. If if we have great people around us, we have uh, we meet and the success, yeah. And um, and to meet the success, we need to have uh, and and to have and generate ideas. How you generate new ideas, Anna? in uh, this special, special field, PR. Uh, okay, so uh, when I uh, come with some new task and when I need new idea, uh, I have kind of pattern what I follow and I would share it. Uh, so the first thing I do, I just sit down and uh, surf in internet uh, and find out uh, as much as possible information about the topic as such. I read everything. I read uh, local media, I read international media. So trying to understand the question or the product or the company better. Then I read about competitors. And when I have the like more or less um, pic clear picture of what I'm dealing with, I just, uh, the next step to me is just to clean up my mind. And with that, I close my laptop. Uh, preferably I go out uh, for a walk. 30, 40 minutes, I just uh, try not to think about what I read uh, and switch my attention. Uh, and then I get back to work uh, and I'm initiating the uh, brainstorm. And here where ideas are like born, initiated, so I listen to other opinions. And to me, the switch between, you know, a lot of information and then cleaning up the brain, it helps then to generate something new based on knowledge, based on like clean mind and based on conversation with my colleagues. Um, I, I know, uh, I know from uh, my side, um, I stick with an idea a long, long time uh, before to drop and uh, to put in the bin <laughs> of ideas. How long do you stick with idea before you give it up? Um, you know, maybe I, I don't have a like, certain period to name. Uh, but definitely I'm the person who needs time like to boil, to process some certain information or idea, like to think about it from uh, different perspectives. Uh, and then like I just have a rule, uh, don't give up from the first attempt. <laughs> so if some idea doesn't work from the first moment, I definitely give a second try. <laughs> 
um, I, I I mentioned, and I would like to mention every time it's possible um, about your uh, skills, your wisdom, and uh, your knowledge, uh, like uh, PR communication. And I want to ask you, my next question is achievement. I'm sure in 14 years you have lots of lots of achievements in uh, your company, but I'm sure one is the big one. <laughs> what was your great uh, uh, professional achievement uh, to be proud of? Um, I think the achievement uh, would be the uh, establishing of this international team with which I work now. I think this is the ground, the basis, and the, my also biggest proud and achievement, because I was deeply involved in this process of selecting people, uh, like training some of them, establishing relations, uh, managing the projects. Uh, and this was a long way, it, like it wasn't built in, in a day or even in a year. Uh, but now when I look back to this like uh, 14 years of history and uh, 10 years of this international experience, I think this building and uh, wonderful international team is the one which you're asking for. I'm sure your company have um, a great success because uh, uh, she know how to build uh, this amazing uh, chemistry between uh, all the members of the team. What is your definition about success? Uh, so success to me is uh, like two components. It's, uh, it's about two components. It's uh, once you achieved your goal and if with achieving your goal, you made somebody's life better or happier, I think this is a success already. Even if you made happier one person, uh, this is already success with your activities, with your work, with what you do. Like, like you know, uh, Anna, uh, when uh, when we work on one project and uh, we want to meet success, we uh, meet uh, and frustration and stress. How do you handle the frustration and stress in your journey? Well, you know, that's a, like, I think, a uh, very important question for year 2020. Uh, <laughs> And I can say that I think I've never been so well equipped with uh, like saving boats, anti-stress <laughs> mechanism, which I discovered this year, really. That's why I'm very grateful for 2020 for finding those. Uh, so um, uh, the, the first thing I started practicing uh, this year, and it's, I think it's very helpful and I would recommend to everyone, uh, is uh, I'm practicing uh, the, uh, how to say, the approach of beautiful mornings. Um, I was inspired by a famous book, uh, I think in English it's called Amazing Mornings. Uh, and uh, the idea, uh, probably uh, many people have heard about it, but uh, the, I, I would still say that the idea of this book is to get up uh, a bit earlier than you should do and to spend the first hour of your day for the things that makes you happier, stronger, that make you feeling better and uh, to spend time with yourself. So when I get up, uh, I uh, do uh, a little bit of yoga, like short morning practice. Uh, I do also small meditation. And if time is left, I'm trying to either read something or listen to audio books or some podcasts. So things which are interesting personally for me. Uh, and you know, when I'm doing it on a regular basis, I just feel that stresses are becoming less and somehow my confidence and power is growing with that. Um, and this is like thing which I discovered this year. Uh, but you know, in the year when you are locked down and you cannot go out and stress is anyway growing, another thing which I started doing and which helps me uh, is also to like close everything and go out for a walk, or preferably without phone, without headphones, without anything. And when the walk was not possible, I was just taking stairs. And if I go a couple of times to 15th floor uh, up and back, you know, my brain is uh, clean, my body is energized, and the stress also somehow uh, is not so strong as it was. So these are my saving boats, uh, and I recommend it really to everyone if you didn't find yours. 
in some point you still my uh, next question uh, my next question was uh, uh, in my mind about uh, the book uh, what kind of book inspire you the most uh, but you just say um, uh, amazing good morning you have another book in your mind uh yeah so amazing morning like made my year but uh, like uh, um there is another book which i would like to mention that's probably made my summer <laughs> this year uh it's a book of italian writer uh, her name is elena ferrante and she uh like i read the her ne neapolitan novels it's like four books about telling the story of uh, two girls from uh, their childhood and until the retirement <laughs> and uh, you know, I loved everything about this book, the story and the heroes and, I don't know, the style of writing. And it gave me a lot of inspiration and personally and professionally. So very recommended book from my, <laughs> my side. What do you consider to be your weakness? Uh, I know it's a tough a, question. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough, but it's something to, <laughs> to think about, definitely. Um, I think, you know, I'm a desperate optimist and professionally from time to time it becomes uh, my problem and my weakness and I would explain why. Uh, so when I see the opportunity, the new tender or new project and new potential client, I'm so optimistic that I can do it and I can do it well and I like uh, should dedicate my time and energy that sometimes I uh, simply forget that I still have 24 hours in a day uh, that my personal resources are also still not limited uh, not unlimited unfortunately uh, and um, I'm just uh, going uh, straight forward uh, and dedicating my time and my patience to this uh, but I think in some moments this optimism is, um, is my weakness because still we should uh, consider our abilities and uh, our um, possibilities, not only optimistically, but maybe realistically as well. Great. Uh, to, to, to make our clients happy, we need to, uh, we need to, to work and to keep our values and principles high. What is your principle to follow or to build a successful client relation, especially in the international market? You know, uh, I think that uh, every project we start with new client or with a customer, uh, we start in a way as if we plan to work uh, together like all our life. So that means that we um, uh, treat any customer as a long-term perspective, which makes you try hard to do everything best and to keep doing. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we are just trying to approach every customer uh, in a way, so do in a way as you would do uh, the job for your best friend. And uh, even sometimes if uh, it's, you know, for sure that with this client, you would work one month and it's not planned to continue, we still approach it as a, a long term perspective. In this way, you really deliver the best result. And quite often it happens that clients like this so much that they come back to you or they recommend you to others. And this is really a great feeling when you, <laughs> when you achieve this satisfaction of the customer of the client Anna if you have the possibility because we talk about the books and the heroes and uh, how they uh, change our lives and uh, it's good to, 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 to read and to have uh, other perspective if you have the opportunity to to talk with one person from history who will be and why Oh, wow, that's a really great question. <laughs> and so because, yeah, when you read, you imagine that you would talk to this or that person. And actually in my brain, I'm doing it quite often. Uh, but uh, can I pick up two now? <laughs> yes. <please. laughs> Uh, so it would be combination. So if I have this great choice, I would uh, first uh, have a small conversation with Thomas Edison. Uh, 
I think such a great inventor and such a gifted entrepreneur and a businessman uh, can tell you a lot. So I would uh, be really honored to have this opportunity. Um, and just to finish the day happier, I would go for live concert of Queen and to listen to Freddie Mercury. <laughs> and I think in combination, two great like genius, I consider them both genius, one in one field, another in another. I think that that would inspire me a lot significantly <laughs> for the rest of my life. So that would be my choice. So talking to Thomas Edison and then listening to live concert of Queen. <laughs> wow, wow. When, uh, for who don't uh, know who is uh, Thomas, uh, you, you need to go uh, quickly on the internet and we keep <laughs> a hand to, uh, to check. Anna, when we want to, uh, well, well, what is your advice? When, you, uh, when we take an, our consideration to scale up our uh, business? What is your advice for us, for um, uh, entrepreneurial uh, life? Where we need to, uh, to, uh, to look in, from this PR uh, zone? Uh, could you please celebrate a bit more in the question? How to scale up, uh, scale our uh, business, uh, international. And uh, definitely the PR is one a great pile in our uh, business what we need to know about uh, uh, this zone when we want to go international? Um, so I, I think when you go international, you should dedicate a lot of time and resources to uh, knowing as much as possible about your audience. Uh, this is one of the keys to success. So, and my advice would be to know the audience from uh, very different angles. Not, for example, if you are, I don't know, service, uh, your service is some application, so you shouldn't focus only on your consumer who is potentially um, your, your client, but uh, I, I would go further. So what is this country? How they, uh, what are cultural differences? What, are, what is political situation? What is economic overview? So this is all very, very important uh, to study and to know before you uh, make a next step or to internationalization. Once you know your audience, they, what they think about, how they live, you can come up with better solution and you can achieve higher results. I know you say something about your, um, your routine, about uh, you wake up a little bit early than uh, normal, uh, about uh, meditation and yoga, but how do you keep yourself focused and productive day by day in these crazy times? Well, yeah, that's a, like this year, especially is a constant struggle between like professional and uh, personal life. We work from home office, I think, uh, as, as most of us in the world. Um, so uh, I do just, you know, I'm trying to do the regular things which I did when I was working in the office. And for example, every Friday I plan my upcoming week. So when uh, on Monday I open the laptop, more or less I have a plan. Um, I usually divide uh, tasks uh, in uh, several categories, which is like urgent and important. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, the main focus uh, for the day and week. Then there are um, important but not urgent. Uh, and the, uh, there are things, we, uh, and I keep the window for things which are uh, not important, but still urgent. And in my work, it's very often happening that you have a great plan and then something maybe not very important, but urgent comes from the client and you should switch uh, like your attention to this. Uh, so that's why I know this. I studied it during the years and I try uh, to keep uh, the window in every day for this, just because I assume it may come. Um, and it usually it comes. Um, so this kind of planning helps a lot. And also recently I understood that uh, I'm more productive when I'm not reading, for example, email um, constantly as I used to do it actually, because in my professional, this um, fast, quick answers to clients, uh, this, uh, they are very welcome, they expect it. But at the same time, I switch now to the like a project that I dedicate, for example, one hour to reading and answering emails, and I dedicate one or two hours, depending on the needs, to writing something, producing a story, so working on the content. And at this moment, I don't 
check email. I tend not to check uh, social media during the working day. And actually I deleted all of them from my phone, <laughs> except the messenger because people even professionally use it uh, sometimes. Uh, so th these things uh, really help me to be more focused and more productive nowadays in this home office work, <laughs> daily routines. I, I know from my uh, personal uh, search, you are very, very appreciated in your uh, company like professional. What helped you to get there? Uh, uh, and what kind of steps you, you take to be there, to be successful professional and to, to impact people's life by communication? Uh, well, uh, I think w w whatever you do in every field you work, you should be uh, uh, inspired by what you're doing. Uh, when you feel the inspired person, uh, this is kind of, it's a kind of positive virus. <laughs> it, it affects others. Uh, and to, to me, this is uh, like, uh, this is most important. So you should love what you're doing. You should be inspired by what you're doing. Uh, you should surround yourself with people, uh, similar people uh, who also uh, think the same. And all together, you will come to great results. What is your definition about leadership? Um, you know, I re recently I I dedicated a lot of time to read about like um, uh, le great leaders and uh, um, so, uh, so successful uh, quotes of successful leaders or how they achieved it. And actually, I um, I, li I love this kind of books. I love to read about the leaders of I don't know um, Coca Cola and Pepsi and Disney. So. Uh, to, to study uh, how, how they achieved the success and what is, uh, was the key of the leaders. But um, uh, probably my, how to say, pick up from all this, that uh, the, the, the great leader, uh, first of all, thinks about the people with whom he works and then about the business goals and about the everything. Uh, so now, for example, now I'm reading uh, a book uh, about Starbucks. Um, it's uh, called, I have it in my hands. It's not about the coffee it's called, and it's written by Howard Be Behar. So, and uh, it's, uh, this is a book which tells a story how a leader turns the small like chain of coffees into the world known leader. And they just put uh, not the product which they're selling as a center, but they put uh, their customers, the people who drink their coffee, in the center. So in my case, I think this is uh, this book resonates a lot with my uh, personal approach to leadership and to successful leadership. Wow, I need to read the, that book. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Attractive. If you like coffee, you you will love starting from the cover. I love coffee. I need to read that. <laughs> that. <laughs> Anna, your uh, professional uh, path is long, and um, I'm sure you have a uh, few lessons learned in, in these times. Can you mention three, five uh, lessons or what you learned in, along your way? Uh, five lessons. Yeah. Five main lessons of my professional life. Yeah. Um, okay, that's also not easy, <laughs> but I would try because I think uh, you know. I, I generally I support that person should uh, have a long life learning. Uh, that's why, like, I tend to learn to study every single day from failures and uh, from success, and I think it's uh, equally important. Uh, so what I studied in my uh, international career is probably one is that people are always people. <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> what is nationality of a person, uh, where he lives, but uh, like this human, uh, how to say, uh, human, uh, human is a human. And this is like uh, whatever different we are, we are still uh, human and this unites a lot. So we should treat everyone, regardless of uh, religion, uh, political views, or uh, nationality in a similar way as you would love, uh, you would be treated by others. Um, my another lesson, uh, be very open to the world. 
uh, because uh, like a lot uh, nowadays there are a lot of information, uh, but still I think we should uh, be open-minded and uh, try to find information from different sources, try to hear different opinions, and that enriches us a lot. Um, I think also my lesson learned that nothing is impossible basically <laughs> in this world. Whatever happens, if you keep trying, you can do everything. Uh, surround yourself with uh, people with uh, uh, similar uh, values uh, is a very important lesson as well. And if you feel that people are not sharing some of your values, just don't regret and say goodbye to these people. And I think entrepreneurship, when you're an entrepreneur, it gives you this flexibility. Yes, you can, in many ways, you can choose the people with whom you work. So I studied that uh, whoever it's uh, sometimes very hard, it's better to make decision and to take the different roads rather than to keep walking in the same way, but not enjoy this way. <laughs> so I don't know, did I answer your wow. question? Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to take uh, some, uh, some notes. <laughs> When, when um, people are running uh, this kind of uh, model of business, like uh, PR, especially in uh, international field, we, uh, we meet and we find out uh, some uh, issues. What do you think are the biggest issues for a company from PR field uh, to running this kind of uh, model of business for other entrepreneurs? Uh, so uh, the issue in communication um, is again you, you should dedicate a lot of uh, time and resources to understand uh, your audience especially it's about when it's about international cooperation and this is an issue because uh, it takes not uh, it, it takes not only time and resources but uh, you should know the language yes you, you should find the way how to get local information so this is an issue about uh, like uh, what we realize uh, whatever uh, successful uh, uh, like pattern of business you may have in your country to be successful in other countries in our field you should find uh, uh, good uh, trustful partners uh, local partners who know the language who understand your needs who understand the field and um, so this partnership is very important so i i would say that it's practically impossible to my mind to act like uh, um, an international level in communication uh, without having uh, local partners. So th I think this is important and crucial to find the one. Um, this is uh, like a challenge, this is an issue, but it's doable. And once you find your, uh, like your people in another country, uh, you just, you will come to success without doubt. The last question, Anna. If you have the opportunity to meet yourself uh, like 15 years, 20 years ago, what will be your advice for yourself? So if I met myself but 20 years ago, yes? Yes. Okay, 20 years ago, I think I exactly entered the university <laughs> and I was like a girl with the big eyes uh, trying to observe uh, everything new in this world. Um, so I think I would do pretty many things as I did, but uh, the advice for now would be um, don't, don't regret uh, if you have to uh, say uh, goodbye to some uh, people. I mean, do it because you will always find uh, more relevant and closer uh, person to you. I mean, it's uh, we are talking about professional life and it's very important as i said so don't regret don't wait too long and uh, find and surround yourself with the people you uh, fully that fully share your values and your goals and don't regret to say goodbye to others who don't because it will never bring you <laughs> to the final destination if you keep walking with the wrong uh, partners with the wrong people next to you in the end, if we, uh, we say goodbye uh, for a few people in our life because we, uh, we don't go in the same way, uh, we create space for other people to come in and uh, to bring uh, light and uh, happiness in our life, no? That's exactly, this is what I mean, yes. So when you just uh, free the space, uh, obviously another person uh, which 
will bring you much more, I mean, positive developments would definitely come and take the place. So absolutely agree with you. Anna, the really, started, really, yeah. uh, last question. It, I really enjoy to, uh, to have you with us at the Aspiration Business, but I know it's time for the end. Uh, my, my really, really uh, last question is, what is unique about yourself? And what is unique about uh, PR and communication in your life? Uh, so about myself and about my professional, like, yeah. well, um, it's hard to say, <laughs> I, I would be frank, it's hard to say well, what is unique about myself. I think um, I'm a very optimistic, desperately optimistic person. And uh, I think because of this optimism, I mentioned that it's my weakness at some point, but mostly I think uh, I almost don't see what is impossible in this life. Uh, and everything seemed, to, I also like the motto that everything uh, seemed to be impossible until it was done. Yeah. So this is absolutely about me. And uh, I think this is like, maybe I'm not the only one in the world, of course, who thinks like this, but this is my unique feature that helps me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great to meet <laughs> uh, the, the uh, great mind <laughs> thing alike. So, uh, yeah, but I, I think this is just uh, uh, my unique feature uh, for myself that helps me to move forward. Uh, and. Uh, professionally and personally so i always find a way to move forward to, to set the new goal to come to that goal and um yeah and then this is it <laughs> that would be my answer thank you so much anna for sharing your tips your wisdom with our community brainstorm strategy at the asparas and business we really really enjoy it and uh, definitely we take lots of notes we understand a little bit better uh, about uh, communication and pr and if we want to take one kind of phrase we need to take uh, at the end of this interview is if you want to go international you need to have a, a great uh, pr team around you because they help you to translate the cultures the uh, the behavior uh, the other people behavior and uh, uh, to put the proper words in a uh, proper language and uh, to help you to grow your business thank you so much anna and um, really uh, uh, from my heart i wish you all the best and uh, in 2021 the the most powerful and uh, full of project on your board <laughs> Thanks so much. The pleasure was all mine. It was really great and very interesting conversation. I enjoyed it so much. And your questions made me think about deeper about some <laughs> things. Uh, so I would continue like <laughs> processing and absorbing this, <laughs> observing this uh, information. And uh, yeah, wish you similar is a great year ahead. And I'm sure it will happen uh, personally and for your business. And, uh, I would be really glad to, uh, have other dialogues and cooperation with you. Definitely. We will, um, we will meet uh, very, very soon in other opportunities. Thank you so much, Anna.